Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester, and welcome back to Single Player Space Engineer Survival Se uh, bleh, 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 Season 2. Well, we're off to a great start. Anyway, so, looks like the uh, Lambda actually fits in this hangar, which I... That's actually surprising, all things considered. Now, do you make the hangar bigger or cut the wings off the... Anyway, no, I'm not going to do anything to the uh, mining ship. Uh, this was actually a surprise. Anyway, so it's time to make planet fall. And you guys were thinking a space elevator connecting the Earth or the Earth-like planet that I drifted towards and didn't just spawn here. <laughs> And that of a moon. But to do that, we need to get over there. So, let's all get in our quick little buggy. Alright. I'd say it's safe to say that I have this down to an art form. Well, actually, a science. Alright, full power to the engines, let's go. I have to say, I'm actually pleased with myself at how this thing has turned out. Sure, it's... Uh, you can use some work on the interior, but... What? What? What's going on? Why are we drifting? What is going on? Oh, who cares? Oh, it's probably the land. Oops. Alright, decelerate. Mm. Hopefully we don't crash into an asteroid. I know there's fairly uh, spaced out, but... Mm, that'd be a real heartbreaker to have happened to me on this great voyage to colonizing this planet. I think tomorrow I should focus on multiplayer. Whoa! Hello! Alright, safe to say we're passing through the field. Relatively safe. Safely. Relatively. I say relatively because those things are still a couple kilometers away. We should be fine, so long as they don't get within a couple hundred meters. And I forgot to turn on uh, cargo ships. I need to do that. And it looks like, yes, that was indeed the landing gear. Damn pistons. Alright, I'm actually kind of thinking, okay, let's survey this. I'm thinking about maybe the frozen tundra as the base. I have set the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, I've set it to disable the sun rotation, just so that way I don't have to deal with that kind of crap. Or maybe in one of the mountains. Just so that way I don't have to deal with any sort of... Well, I can reduce the size of the elevator by a couple kilometers. Okay, I'd say this is close enough. All stop. Okay, and I have a supply of oxygen in this chair. I think, yep, okay. So, I should be good for a while. Hmm. Whoops. Hmm. And 
you guys say I don't get my hands dirty from times to times to what? From time to time. So, hmm, I kind of want to do it in a mountain range, but at the same time, having access to flat land would really help, and I wouldn't necessarily have to build a landing pad. Also, there needs to be some relative... Uh, access to uh, asteroids, but I don't see any. Eh, I could just spawn in some. Or, they can drift in. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with a... Oh, what do you call them? Let's go with a mountain. Over a mountain! Full power to the engines! Hmm. Yeah, I should not sing. Alright. Ignore the body location. I still need to change it to base. Okay, so we are running smoothly. Still speeding up. I'm surprised we haven't hit the atmosphere. Or oh, there's the gravity. That's what I meant to say, not the atmosphere. This is probably the part where you guys tell me to slow down, but I want to get there as fast as I can. And if I crash, well, so be it. Oh shit, I'll be stranded. Okay. Okay. Let's uh decelerate. Any day now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you guys were worried. I know the limitations of my Lambda shuttle. I've been playing with it a little bit on the side. Just a smidge. Alright, oxygen is low. Tell me we're sucking in some of that oxygen. Okay, good. The thing I don't like about the alt um altimeter, I want to say that it's called, is it doesn't give like sea level altitude. It just says how far you are from crashing, which can be both good and bad. Of course, if it said two different things, you'd look at the bigger number and hope you were fine. Or if you're a noob, you'd ho you'd say you were fine, even though no, you're gonna die. All right. We've made it. Hmm. This site looks good, but it's not all that... Fl then again, this shuttle is... 20 frickin' meters long. And there is a relative flat area over there. I don't know. Uh-oh. Hey, look at that! Space engineers crashed. But. Uh Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Using 58% of my memory. 
<sighs> I probably should have restarted before playing. Well, that's an interesting feature. Mm. All right, you know what? Let's just get uh, get established. Mm. Get. Mm. What, do rotors not work in a freaking atmosphere? Oi. Alright. Ideally, I want to go as straight up as I can, but since I can't, apparently... Uh, there's poor trees. All right. Oxygen low. Hopefully, I picked up some hydrogen. Or er, no, jeez, oxygen. Disable that. Alright, they're full. Good, good, good. Air vent, not pressurized. I need to figure out what the hell is wrong with that. What do you mean we're not pressurized? Anyway, dun 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 dun. Dun 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 yon da dun Alright, let's get this beast slowed down. Okay, so looking at the planet, I really probably should have gone over. Ah, screw it. Is it because of this stupid thing? The. Ah! I swear, if it's because of the light, the boarding ramp, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, let's spawn in a new, uh, let's, er, <coughs> let's have a mm, moon drift into orbit. Actually, I think I'll let you guys decide. What kind of moon should I spawn in? I mean, have drift into, into here. You guys decide. Otherwise, I'll probably go with the default. Oh, for fudge sakes. Driver, ugh. Oh, that's right, I need to update my driver. Oh, right. I should not have hit the X. Okay, so, yeah. I'll still let you guys decide. What kind of moon should I use? Oh, good. Now it crashed. Completely. Damn it. Yay, breaking game since, I don't know. Anyway, so I'll let you guys decide what kind of moon should I use. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the miserable crashing, but I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Kane!